السلام عليكم ورحمة الله مرحبا بكم جددا في محاضرة جديدة بسلسلة محاضراتنا مراجعة أسئلة اختبارات الـ Prometric Review أو Prometric Test Question. This is lecture number five in care of the newborn. Today we are going to discuss five questions from question number 134 up to question number 138. معكم محمد عثمان يحيى. نبدأ مباشرة. Question number 134. The postpartum nurse is Provided instruction to the mother of a newborn with hyperbilirubinemia who is being breastfeed, the nurse should provide which instruction to the mother? The options are number A, feed the newborn less frequently. Number B, continue to breastfeed every two to four hours. Number C, switch to bottle feeding for two weeks. Number D, Stop breastfeeding and switch to bottle feeding permanently. Work the video here of Tara Khayar Shif Sahib. The correct option is option number B, which is continue to breastfeed every two to four hours. Lekhtar Nal Khayar Rakam Bina Shuf Rashana. Hyperbilirubinemia is an elevated serum bilirubin level. زيادة البيلوروبين في الدم. Early and frequent feeding speeds the excretions of بيلوروبين. كل ما كانت الرضاعة مبكرة ومتكررة بيساعد في أن الجسم يتخلص من البيلوروبين الزايدة. Therefore, breastfeeding should be initiated within two hours after birth and every two to four hours thereafter. يبدأ مباشرة بعد الولادة بساعتين ويستمر كل ساعتين لأربع ساعات. So the correct option is option number B, which is continue to breastfeed every two to four hours. Option number A is incorrect. The infant should not be fed less frequent. المفروض الطفل يرضى بصورة متكررة وليس بتكرار أقل. Switching to the bottle feeding for two weeks or stopping breastfeeding permanently is unnecessary. So the correct option is option number B. Question number 135. The nurse is assessing a newborn who was born to a mother who is addicted to drugs. Which findings should the nurse expect to note during the assessment of this newborn? Select all that apply. بمعنى تختار كل ما ينطبق بها. The options are number A, lethargy. Number B, sleepiness. Number C, irritability. Number D, constant crying. Number E, difficult to comfort. Number F, cuddles when being taught. Welcome to the video. Here we have the answer to the question. The correct options are options number C, D, and E. Irritability, constant crying, and difficult to comfort. The answer to the question is Russian. A newborn of a woman who uses drugs is irritable. I use it to talk about how we all know how to react and so on. Become a person irritable and cry incessantly and be difficult to console. So the correct options are option number C, D, and E: irritability, constant crying, difficult to console. Regarding to the option number A, B, and F, let there be sleepiness, cuddles will be held, are incorrect because the newborn of a woman who uses the rags is irritable, not lethargic or sleepy, and is hyper extended and posture rather than cuddle when being held. So the correct option is R, option number C, D, and E. Question number 136. The nurse notes hypotonia, irritability, and poor second reflex in 
full term newborn on admission to the nursery. The nurse suspects fetal alcohol syndrome and is aware that which additional sign will be consistent with this syndrome. The options are number A, length of 19 inches, number B, abnormal thalmar crescent, number C, birth weight of 3,120 gram, number D, head circumference appropriate for gestational age. The correct options is option number B, which is abnormal palmar crisis. Fetal alcohol syndrome is caused by maternal alcohol use during pregnancy. Features of newborn diagnosis with fetal alcohol syndrome include craniofacial abnormalities, intrauterine growth restrictions, cardiac abnormalities, abnormal palmar crescents, and respiratory distress. So the correct option is option number D, which is abnormal palmar crescents. Regarding to the option number A and C and D, are normal assessment finding in the full-term newborn infant. So the correct option is option number B. Question number 137. The nurse is creating a plan of care for a newborn diagnosed with fetal alcohol syndrome. The nurse should include which priority intervention in the plan of care. The options are number A, Allow the newborn to establish own sleep rest pattern. Number B. Maintain the newborn in a brightly lighted area of the nursery. Number C. Encourage frequent handling of the newborn by staff and parents. Number D. Monitor the newborn's response to feedings and weight gain patterns. The correct option is option number D, which is monitor the newborn response to feedings and weight gain. rational. A primary nursing goal for the newborn diagnosed with fetal alcohol syndrome is to establish nutritional balance after birth. Because these newborns may exhibit hyper irritability, vomiting, diarrhea or uncoordinated sucking and swelling ability. So the correct option is option number D which is monitors the newborn's response to feedings and weight gain patterns. Option number A, B and C are inappropriate intervention. Question number 138. The nurse administers Erythromycin ointment 0.5% to the eyes of a newborn. And the mother asks the nurse why this is their format. Which explanation is best for the nurse to provide about neonatal eye prophylaxis? The options are number A. Protects the newborn's eye from possible infections acquired while hospitalizing. Number B. Prevents cataracts in the newborn born to a woman who is susceptible to rubella. Number C. Minimize the spread of microorganisms to the newborn from invasive procedure during labor. Number D. Prevents an infection called ophthalmia neonatrum from occurring after birth in a newborn born to a woman with untreated gonococcal infections. The correct option is option number D. Erythromycin of salmic ointment, 0.5%, is used as a prophylactic treatment for ophthalmia neonatal, which is caused by the bacterium Nigeria gonorrhea. So the correct option is option number D.
prevent an infection called ophthalmia neonatrum from occurring after birth in a newborn born to a woman with untreated gonococcal infection. Option number A and B and C are not the purposes for administering this medication to a newborn infant. So the correct option is option number D. Shukran Gizilan and Gabal Mahabharajai. Don't forget to support us by comment, like, or subscribe.